So, I want, I, I, circling back to something Rowan said, like, are NFTs the sign of, like, capital collapsing in on itself, or are they... Or are they the sign of of the new system trying to find its footing. The same pod actually referenced a a Philip K. Dick story that I had forgotten about, but is quite chilling. Where there's a guy in his apartment and everything is coin-operated. And that's kind of the future of that I, a lot of, I think, the blockchain folks want. You know, you have the smart contracts that automatically deduct BTC from your wallet every time you use anything. And, I don't know, that's not a future that I'd like to live in. Alright, so now it's time for a hand with many fingers. I've just heard that the archives down on Marshall Boulevard might have some documents that are useful for my next article. I'm sure you understand that my schedule is far too busy to get down there myself. In any case, it should be an excellent practice for your thesis. Alright, thank you, Professor Harvard. Yeah, I don't want to live in either. I mean, I had a $500 bill. I mean, we, we talked about this. Yeah, it's just... Because you have to continually find ways to extract revenue in order to expand. And so financializing as many finance elements of life, it's, it's the only way that it can go forward. And it sucks. Left click to interact. <gasps> that can stay on. Sydney Baker found dead. Wait, left click on the corkboard to pin the document? Oh, I get to connect twine in this game! Oh look, Reagan! Speaking of speak of the devil. Yo, I love twine. Looks like there's stuff here. Sydney, Australia. And Nicaragua. Is this gonna be Iran Contra? Is that the is that the conspiracy that we're unraveling? Pick a topic to research. Write down the location, year, and name of a person or event you'd like you'd like to investigate. Like I just saw Nicaragua and Reagan, and I'm like, this is yeah, only one way to find out, I guess. Let's 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 learn about Iran Contra. Search the card catalog. Write down any reference numbers you find. So let's see. We've got January 1980 in Nicaragua. Nicaragua 1980. Australia, Latin America, and the 1980s. What was the name of the person? Nugan. Francis Nugan. Wait, J.K. L.M.N. L. No, I might be wrong. Okay, so I was wrong about that one. Francis John Nugent, Sydney Banker. Let's see, so what was the thing? It was right down, let's see, so that's the location, year, and name. And let's see, Sydney Baker, like, ah, it's Australia 
OS 109.72. Can I go in here? No, I cannot. Let's see. Ground floor, the card catalog. 109.72. It's very complicated. Like, oh wait. Oh no, I have to remember things for this game. Oh no, this is going to be bad for my brain. OS 109.72. I mean, some theorists talk about it as, I mean, it's, you know, the strength of capitalism is its ability to criti to consume any criticism of it back into itself. So it's hard to imagine anything beyond that. Because everything kind of gets consumed in and it sort of kills all sense of imagination. Let's see, 109. Come on, 109, where are you? You should be here. Back here, maybe? 109.72. 109.72. Gonna go through a box or two. What did we find? Discovered the silver Mercedes Benz while on patrol in the real theaters of Sydney. Like, officer discovered the body now identified as Francis John Nugent, born December 1942. He was known for co-founding the Nugent Hand Bank with Michael Hand. Apparently the cause of death was a self-inflicted gunshot. Yes. Wine connected. William Colby. Is that who this is? No, this is Frank Nugent. That's what he looks like. Okay. Do I, can I get rid of Twine? This game does have the IRL experience. This is really, really cool. Like, I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm just, I was not expecting to have to remember stuff for the game tonight. All right, so I got everything out of the box. So now I need to return the box. And the next thing that I want to look for is... Michael Hand? Let's see. The business card of William Colby retained as legal counsel in 1979. But where in 1979? I haven't had that's I haven't had to have that experience of going to the library since like fifth grade. So Michael Han William Colby retained his Nugent Hand legal Washington legal advisor. Okay, so he's 1979 Washington. I'm looking for Colby. But I also had another one of these to get. 63375. Okay. 633. Oh, a box! I'm going to unravel this conspiracy. I also love the music. Hand executive Michael Hand disappeared a week after his colleague Bernie Hutton. Can I turn the volume on? I don't know why I would ever want to. Oh, hey! It's 
It's Bush Sr. and Reagan. All right, so we've got Frank Mugen. And Bernie Hooten. Bernie Hooten. Okay, there are some communes that are still, like, there are active communes that do exist. I can't remember any of the top of my head, but they are there. All right, so now the next one here. So I went through Nugan. So the next person I want to look for is William Colby. 1979 in Washington, I'm looking for Colby. East Asia, North America. <laughs> you are the guy who gets together the FMD that's how I feel. 1979. Colby. No, Colby! OS488. I can see it coming together. I hope I didn't Yomi this immediately. But like, I saw Nicaragua and I saw Reagan. And I'm like, oh, I know, I know one conspiracy theory this could be about. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot what it was. Four eight eight. Four eight eight. Four eight eight. I'm late for a date. Ain't it great to look for box four eight eight? Four eight eight. Four eight eight. This box is great. Gonna take this box along on my date. What do we got in the box? Who's this guy? Ah, this is Colby. Okay, so Colby is retained. As the law is Frank Nugent's lawyer. It'd be great to see Michael. I don't think we've met him since Angola business back in 1975. In any case, I'm sure I can help. Oh, wait. Ang Angola business. 1975. Angola, 1976. So Vietnam, 1975. I wonder what could have possibly been happening there. Well, let's see. So, let's connect these. New faces at Nugan Hand, Senior Lake Washington, D.C., Civil War in Angola reaches four-year milestone. Let's see, we're looking for then... Who's Michael? Michael Hand. 1975, Vietnam. We're looking for the Hand. Unless there is nothing here. No, I'm wrong. Let's see. Wait. No. In any case, I'm sure I can help with the... Like, oh, this is 1979. see anything familiar here. Michael is Michael Hand. And this is Colby. An Angola business back in 1975. Where do I go from here? Maybe June 1980?
Well, it is an Af it's an Africa. So Africa 1975, I guess. So the thing to look for here is Africa, and not I'm not looking for the business in Vietnam. All right. Baldwin Fields, ear glove, hand. Three eight five. Gonna take a dive. Three eight five. I've been conditioned to expect jump scares at this point. 385, 385. I'm glad to be alive with 385. This box is not a beehive. It's my box, 385. This fucker. Michael Hand. He's connected to this letter. If this turns into a Kuso Horo game, I'm going to scream so hard. I'm actually very invested in the atmosphere. It would be mean if there was a jump scare somewhere. Yeah, there is no monster scary. The scariest monster is right here. The dossier on Michael Hand's history will be delivered as a requested. The earliest reference is from 1965 in Vietnam. Where is the other business in Angola with him? 590. 590. Take it slow. There's still a lot of game to go. Looking for my box. 590. Coming up with a song. So I don't forget. That sounded like there's someone in the library with me. CIA operational review, date of operation 1975. Oh, wait, initiating officer Colby William in Angola. Frank Nugan. So Colby William is in the CIA. United States to Angola, 1975, World Marine Incorporated. So that's the Angola business. So we know that some things happened here. So we've got that. We've got Michael Hand, 1965 in Vietnam. Does it even go? It doesn't go back that far. So I can't go back. So where do I go from here? Colby William, 1975, Angola. That's the one that I actually did already. I already did this one. Nineteen seventy nine in Washington, DC. I've already gone through this one. I'm looking at Colby. Ah, where do I go here? Michael Hand's history will be delivered as requested. 1965 in Vietnam. But it doesn't go back that far. 1973. Maybe. 
I do have one ed edge on Reagan and that I am alive. I think that means I automatically win the fight. 1978. Break the president in two with my bare hands! Man, Meryl, Pew, Scott, Sydney, Tate, Umba, Wyatt. Hmm. I am at a loss. Putin, maybe 1980. Oh, here's more Colby. Or did I already get that one? Hmm. So we know there's a connection between Washington and, Go and Angola. How do I get rid of this? Yeah, I killed Thatcher once. I got it with the rocket launcher. I killed her, th what, three times on that stream, even? Let's see, 1979 Angola. Eaton, Fuller, Fulton, Hall, Hewitt, Hines, Hudson, Hunt. I girl bossed Thatcher to death. So 1975 Angola didn't lead to anything. So we also know that Michael Hand was in Shanghai. So what do we know about him? 1965. We know that he incorporated in 1973. I don't know anything about Bernie Hutton. Yeah, the only ethical way to be a, a girl boss is to use it to kill Demon Thatcher. Here's Colby, so 488, but I already got that, didn't I? So I already had this box. So what is there left to grab? Angola 1975, I've already done. This is the operator, we know that Provide cover to anti-communist forces in Angola. You can hand exec vanishes in William Colby retained his Nugan Hand legal counsel in 1979. Let's see. Vehicle officers discovered the body in a Francis John Nugan. The co founded the Nugan Hand Bank. Oh, here we go. Silver Mercedes Benz, Sydney, 1980. So there's Australia. Wait, I already did this one though. Ah! I've never been good at research. Oh, here we go. Hand. 633 and 385. 633. Okay, this is freaking me out now. There's no... Are there jump scares in this game? Am I gonna get killed? 
by the CIA? In the game about unraveling a CIA conspiracy? This isn't fun anymore. I do want an answer to that. This game is very atmospheric and I'm very, I'm very sucked in. I'm also very easily scared. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, I'm gonna get black bagged, aren't I? Take it easy, Rowan. Well, now I'm spooked! I thought this was gonna be a comfy game about it, uncovering a conspiracy theory. Now I'm actually very tense! Alright, so I'm looking for 633. I guess I'll keep going. Yeah, this is definitely hitting the, the paranoia. Oh, the box I'm looking for isn't here. Well, I have to finish my thesis. Three eight five is the other one. The empty phone call is like the yeah, the whole vibe just changed. Three eight five is gone too. Oh no, my dog needs me. Or did I already get this one? No, I already got it, that's why. Let's see. World Marine Incorporated, 1975. Hmm. I might not be smart enough to unravel this conspiracy. The CIA doesn't even need to kill me. So I went there. I've got the stuff from hand. Putin is the one I really need to find more about. So where is Hutton?
19, so 1980 maybe? What is Bernie up to? So I know Bernie Hewton does something. 1978? Did I just look at it all? Very fair. I had forgotten about that particular audit. Anyway. Yeah, where was Bernie when he disappeared? Have I found that yet? Bernie's only been mentioned once. The hand exact. Like, let's see. Where was he? Was he in Australia? Oh, he was. 802. We definitely need the music. We need something down here to break this up. Oh no. Did I get the wrong box? It was 80284. Sorry, oh, it was 84. Wrong box. 80284. Like, I'm super tense now. Now that I'm expecting bad things to happen. And I guess also now that I know that I'm going to get killed at the end of this. Just being alone in the library late at night? Yeah, just normal stuff, you know? Alright, is this Hewton? Here he is. They open up a new ban new branches. Bernie Hewton, 1980. Queen Chang in Saudi Arabia. It feels like the same when you go down there to get information. It's like it's interesting that they were able to make a game about collecting information feel very scary and very tense. Like, I am more tense playing this than I was playing Amnesia. Alright. Maurice Bernard Hewton. Records that he boarded a flight from Sydney to Manila on June 1980 after meeting with Blank. Other pertinent information from the travel records. Several trips to the Geneva premises of Edwin Wilson, known to U.S. intelligence services from 1978 onward. One six one. One six one. This game is no longer fun. be chill and like have a fun time and now I'm spooked also I need to start writing it 16115 I got the wrong box I 
I'm getting mixed up. One six one. One five. I'm glad you're having a great time. I'm freaking out here expecting that this I'm gonna get black bagged any second. Oh cool. Alright, so Bernie and Ed we know that Bernie and Ed Wilson are connected. I mean between Bernie and Ed Wilson at the Marine offices. Bernie and Wilson. To Egypt and Libya, Wilson requested a meeting in Geneva, not the world. Like, so they want to meet in Geneva. Wilson, one six six one five five three. Now, I'm paranoid here. So I had that mouse issue there where it started jumping around. And I, I'm not sure if that was an intentional thing. Is that a thing with the game? Was that a glitch? Or was that my character has been drugged and is starting to freak out? This game is way too effective. So what's this? 1978 to Libya. Dear Ed. Ed Wilson. Unfortunately, Blank stopped working for us shortly after last year's meeting in Hong Kong. So 1977 in Hong Kong. Let's see, it was last year's meeting in Hong Kong? Stop working for shortly after, but Bernie's available. Wait, MH. MH is Michael Han. Stop working for us shortly after last year's meeting in Hong The World Marine Offices. Blank organized a meeting. Paul said that this deal could open up a whole new world of opportunities for the bank. 1975. Where are the World Marine Offices? So where, where else can we go here? I haven't looked in Libya yet. Libya, 1978? No, I have looked, but have I looked for Wilson? Hmm.
What's it going? Yep. Trying to uncover a real life CIA conspiracy, and it's making me mad paranoid. Yeah, because every time so you have you come up here and you're you got your cork core, and you're doing all this stuff. But as like, increasingly as I've been going around, like I'll hear footsteps and stuff, and like you're not alone in the library. I already got the empty phone call. So it seems like as I'm figuring out the conspiracy, my character's gonna get murdered eventually. I am trying not to get murdered. But I I might not be too good at that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I had breeds. Oh, uh, whatever you want to do. Maybe for the one day. Maybe something small? Depends on what you order. Alright. I'll be too. Alright, back to dying. So what else is here? Angola in the United States, 1975. But I've done those, right? No, I didn't. Three eight five five nine zero slash seven. Hmm, missing. Three eight five fourteen. Haven't I already grabbed that one? Three eight five fourteen. The five nine zero is missing. It might be, but I'm very paranoid. All right, so we know hand is here, but that stuff's missing. Libya 1978, but I don't know. There's World Marine Inc. So World Marine Inc. is implicated. World Mar wait. World Marine Inc. is connected here, too. And World Marine Inc. 1978. The Saudi matter. Probably under Africa. I don't recognize any of these. Maybe over here? But I think I already grabbed these. 802 and 161. Oh, I didn't. 802 and 135? Oh, they're all stacked in different places around the safe room. I like how you're all just calling it the safe room now. Oh, I did get these. Alright, I'm... The I feel stuck. 
So I did Sydney, and that was Sydney in... Sydney in 1980. Got that one. I've gone through here. Angola, Libya, 1978. Already gone through, gone through it. I feel like I need to get something for Geneva. Several trips to the Geneva premises of Ed Wilson from 1978. Already got him. Nineteen eighty, Nugan is killed. Well, I haven't done anything. Nineteen eighty in China. Any familiar names here? Any familiar names here? Brian, Lindsay, O'Brien, Pierce, Rig. Hmm. I am not winning. I'm actually very stuck. I'm really not sure where to go from here. So I just checked the Vietnam and I, I can help with the it's 1979 Vietnam. But there's nothing here. So that would have been Colby. 1979, I don't think we've met since then, Angola business back in 1975. So you know back in 1975, Colby as a CIA asset was initially providing military support to anti-communist forces in Angola. There, he meets with... Let's see... Nineteen seventy nine. On the Traveler Records note. This one here. 1975 in Angola. But I've already gone through that one. See, here's where we, the travel history of Bernie. Let's see, from Sydney to Manila in June 1980. That would be what, Australia? Although, didn't I get this already? Hutton, like, let's see. Oh, here we go. Wilson. From 1970 onwards, ready? Let's see. Trips to the Middle East. Putin, Wilson, like Geneva in the Middle East in 1978. 
161615. I think I already got these ones. It wasn't 615, and then 615 was missing. So what I'm starting to see is... There's something going on with opium trade. These people are CIA assets. There's something going on in Angola. This bank is implicated, and one of these bankers is murdered. to Mila, Mila, From Sydney to Mil Melinda and Nick. Yeah, here we go, the Angola business. So the civil war in Angola is happening here. Or there's arms trade going on. Enabling Middle East from 1978 on? Well, that's an idea. Foster Gaines, Hill, Jackson, Lester, Logan. see anything in there for the Middle East. Even though with the travel record... So I should be looking at Hutton for from the Middle East from 1978 on. But I have him in 1978. The 161, that was 802 and 161. And I have both of those. So what am I missing? We gotta trace it back. It starts here. You got Colby, Francis, and Nugan. Discover the mercy discovered in a blankly. All right, Miles goes to Sydney. You have Nugan. You have Hand. On inspecting the vehicle, discovered the body as Francis John Nugan. The deceased was known as Reco the bank with Michael Hand. Business card of William Colby retained as legal counsel in 1979 was found in the car. So Colby, who is a CIA asset, was retained in 1979 as their lawyer. He's been working in Angola. He was implicated in Angola. In arms, like, in at least it looks like arms trade, where there was weapons and everything sold by the purchasing agent of the World Marine Incorporated. It was also connected to Libya in I checked this yet? I think I checked this one already too. I'm kind of just checking blindly now. I'm not, I feel, I'm very stuck. 
I feel like I might have skipped a step or missed something somewhere. So he's dead. We have everything going on here. But I've been closing doors too, so 1980... Nothing here. Yeah, this is definitely like, I'm very deep in the sauce. Hmm. I wonder if I did check something, like I did miss something or I did overlook something. I think I'm going to do... I'm gonna... I want to see where the story goes. I'm going to cheat a little. I am very interested in the design behind the cork board. This, I, I'm, I think this game really rules. I'm just very stuck right now and I'm not sure where to go. Please do. Why was there a noise? I was stuck and decided to look up what the next box was supposed to be. All right. So this is one, Nugan Hand opens new branches in Shanghai. A solicitor and a soldier, Nugan began, Frank was a lawyer and Mike was an ex-Green Beret. Frank is... Frank Nugan. And Mike Hand is an ex-Green Beret. So these guys are also... It was just a, a, a spooky scare. I got very stuck and decided to look up something. So now we know both of these guys are also former military and intelligence assets. And you can say in Southeast Asia, 1977, Mike, well, he's a very reliable partner. Paul Highwell, 1946, objected logistic air support to anti-communists in Southeast Asia by transporting food, personnel, and strategic resources, opium, and marijuana. Paul Hallowell. Is that a name I've seen? The anti communists in Southeast Asia, huh? So, hello, well, Southeast Asia, nineteen seventy seven.
I think the Indonesian genocides were in the 1960s. And you can watch them. I, I still need to watch Art of The Art of Killing. At some point, I'll get around to that. I don't think I'm ever going to be in the right mood for that movie, though. So where am I at now? So I know that there's conspiracies in Southeast Asia. What am I supposed to do? I might, I might be a butthole and try to skip ahead a little bit. Wait, if one of the names were the same person... Yeah, I'm looking for Hallowell. But Hallowell isn't... So the one I have is the initiating officer's Hallowell in 1946 in... Southeast Asia. I guess I could just go through Southeast Asia and look for Hallowell. One of the other notes does mention a Paul. You're right. There was one. Angola, Libya. Okay, Paul. 1975, World Marine Offices. Go. Hello, well. 267. I wasn't even done with this box. This series has been marked for disposal. 44913. And the other one is 75520. So why are they getting rid of this one, too? So this one was also marked for, for destruction. Is there anything useful? Oh, there is! Chang not. Oh! Oh, shit! Paul! Paul, Paul in Southeast Asia in 1975. That's it. 
Unless... Oh, East Asia. Bet I got his ass. I bet I got his ass. What? No! That was the only piece of evidence in there. Chiang Mai is... I guess you would call it Southeast Asia. 1975. And there's a bank. So I went to the seven, like, let's see, I went to this one. Where else could you be? There, I think I already got this one though. Two, six, seven, four. I think I've already picked this one up. Yes, give me a hint, please. Here's another box. Huh. Someone emptied out the box. That's interesting. And that was the North American Paul Hallowell. Hallowell. I did get both of the boxes that are marked for deletion. So I got the 755 and the 420. I got the 44913. Looks like it's just empty. There's no other leads in here. This bitch empty. Well, I do want to see where this goes. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to pull up a walkthrough. Because I need to end the stream soon. I'm getting... I'm fading very hot fast. I am sleepy, Ricky, but I want to know where this goes. So I guess I already have this one. I gotta, I gotta know where the story goes. So one thing I know, so basically what I know at this point is that the CIA has been, a lot of the guys that are running these banks are intelligence assets. So they've been working to, over the course of many years, funnel drugs around and it's like, and fund wars Using these, I know that then, the, can you believe it? The bank owners aren't good people. And it's like, and then in doing so, they've been enriching themselves. And then one of these guys turns up dead.
All right, here's a Nugent hand piece. How is this connected? Confirms. Okay, PH. PH we now know is is, uh, is Paul. We now have a company support opening in the Cayman Islands. Oh, this goes to this. Paul Hallowell, who's been in intelligence in transporting drugs since the 1940s, is making is shaking hands with Nugan and Hand, who we know are both intelligence dudes. I'm thinking that maybe there's something going on here. I tabbed over. Sorry. Wrong screen. Five, three, six, eight, four. All right. Oh no, the music stopped. Wait, why? Okay, so I've got the annex key down here. This is where I die, isn't it? Oh no. Well? It was nice knowing you all. Oh. What? Is that the end? So basically, redeploy Michael Hand as a military advisor to the Contras. Ah. So basically, Nugent Hand was being used as a front to launder drugs. Ah, I think I figured it out. So... Nugent as a front was being used across many years in cooperation with the CIA. It is, it's a Rand Contra. It's what, I, it's what I thought. So the premise here is an unraveling a real conspiracy. Yeah. So, Michael Hand is an intelligence asset and former Green Beret. He opens up a bank with another one of these intelligence guys. Meanwhile, he's working with this other guy, Pelamen, who has a history of running drugs. Over the course, and they have the whole thing, the history with Angola and everything else going on. Ultimately, Hand is directly deployed as a military advisor to the Contras, and when he's no longer useful, he's killed. And his, and his death is staged as a suicide. So basically, it's the CIA had been funneling money to different using drugs to funnel money to different organizations around the world, and then this guy, when he was no longer useful, was killed. So that's a hand with many fingers. That's what I love, though. That was inc it was incredibly effective.
it creating the atmosphere. Like just having, you know, the like the, the no call phone, the empty phone call, that is horrifying. Wait, for real? The car that runs into the safe room can be seen peeking at you from across the street? Oh, that's really good. So basically, at the end, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that at the end, the character is murdered. Like, is that... is that wrong? Is that... is that too much of a... of a thing to... Oh, too much of a, uh, of a reach. I'm assuming if they, yeah. Like, I'm assuming you get black bagged at the end, and that's the fade to black. It's really, really good, though. Like, the way you unravel everything, the way you piece a part of the information, and the, just the atmosphere of dread and paranoia. Like, that is... That is crushing. Like, I was very tense through the whole, like, through this whole game. Ooh! This was really good. All right. Well, this was fun. I hope everyone had a good time here. I need to go and find someone else to raid because that is the cool thing that streamers do. So let me go do that, and whom do I know that is streaming? Oh! Why, none other than Icevy is streaming. So I'm gonna send y'all over to the rat- I'm gonna send y'all over to the robot. But I almost said rabbit, who is playing... And one of the Animaniacs games? Yo! Alright. Yeah, this was fun! Thank you both- no, thank you to, like, Reyna and Evie for recommending these. This was, like, this was frightening. This was the more effective horror than I have played in many actual horror games. And creating suspense and tension and, like, that looming sense, like Kadenzo was saying, it's that looming sense of dread. That, like, something is gonna happen. You get no, you get empty, you get the empty phone call. You hear footsteps. You hear something jingle and you're like, I'm not alone in here. The doors are locked. I'm not alone here and I'm just digging into this conspiracy theory and realizing I'm deep, and this is going very far into something that maybe I'm not supposed to know about. It's incredibly good. Alright, well, tell the robot I say hi, and... Yeah, and as soon as you find the first piece, you're screwed. Because you realize, oh, this is a this is a cover-up. Like, you go, like, the university student just going through and looking for info, and then stumbling into a murder, like, a murder conspiracy that is basically a global campaign of of anti-communist of anti-communist paramilitary action funded by the CIA like getting involved in the drug trade is um well, it's Iran, it will, it's, we know it now is Iran Contra or um or just the um what was it Iran Contra was yeah was when Reagan traded or no, it was like we sold weapons to Iran to finance the Contras in Nicaragua. So, but that was also like there's drug money involved there too. This was, yeah, was specifically yeah, selling weapons to fund the Contras. But more broadly, there were other operations to fund the Contras financed by the CIA in part by drug trade. Because it turns out, historically, the agency has maybe been involved in some like less than good stuff. Yeah, once I... Operation Condor, baby! Yeah! Evie, you know what's up. Yeah. And, but, like, when you walk in there and Reagan and George and Bush Sr. are on the TV and I just saw Nicaragua on the board, I'm like, this is just an... This is, a, this is the Contra thing, isn't it? Well. Oof. Anyway. These were fantastic games. Thank you both for recommending them. Um, say hi to the robot for me. I appreciate y'all. Take care.